Okay, so today's video is going to be about uh, whether you should or should not take back your uh, BPD or uh, MPD uh, partner, uh, borderline or narcissist uh, uh, partner. And this is regardless of whether you have discarded them or they have discarded you. So basically, let's say that the situation is that you have uh, uh, broken uh, the relationship and you are either in uh, no contact or you're in uh, uh, some mild form of uh, contact but let's say that things are officially off and uh, basically the uh, borderline or the narcissist is attempting to hoover you and what should you do should you uh, give this person a, a second chance or a third or fourth or should you um, or should you uh, give up uh, basically and I will share my own experience here because I think that's quite useful. Um, but uh, I mean, if you read uh, about experiences from other people, I think that the answer is uh, is quite clear. And as you can imagine, the answer is uh, no. Uh, you should definitely not take back an abusive partner. I think first of all, it's important to recognize that you know. Um, uh, borderlines and narcissists uh, tend to actually be emotionally abusive in the relationship. Now I'm talking only about emotional abuse because physical abuse is, is, is quite obvious. It's either there or it's not. Emotional abuse is a little bit harder to, um, to, to see. But in the same way as you would tell uh, a friend who's being uh, beaten up by a man or uh, by a woman uh, that they should not get back into the relationship, it's exactly the same advice for a borderline or a narcissist that is has been abusive towards you it's not going to change uh, it's uh, the only exception uh, is uh, if they have underwent years of uh, therapy um, and from uh, what i uh, what i understand is that it really takes uh, uh, many years so it's not just uh, one year and then they are fixed you know i mean we're talking about uh, uh, probably a decade long uh, therapy uh, and uh, massive effort to you know counter their uh, trauma uh, their the child uh, trauma in order to effectively heal and then in that case you might might consider uh, the uh, getting back together or trying again so you know after years of years of intense therapy but really I mean the, the chances of this uh, of this happening are extremely slim and not to mention that, you know, uh, you should also consider your own emotions and be in touch with your own emotions. If someone has abused you, if someone has broken your trust, has cheated on you, it's going to be, uh, you're not the same person anymore and you cannot behave the same way towards them. Even if they were to become the perfect partner, let's say, if perfect partner even exists. So it's a, really a, a low chance and a low probability uh, event and uh, it's probably something that will not even work so that's uh, the starting point and uh, uh, of course uh, i also believe that it's important to learn by experience so uh, what happened to me at least was that you know i broke up with uh, uh, my uh, borderline and my uh, covert narcissist uh, let's say one year and a half after we were together and uh, because I felt that the relationship was uh, abusive, I was not, uh, um, I mean, I knew about BPD and MPD and I had researched uh, quite extensively about them, but I was not 100%, uh, um, I, I do not understand as much as I understand now, I would say. Um, so then, you know, we broke up and I went no contact and this person managed to contact me through email a few months later. And, uh, and they were relentless and they told me, they promised me that they understood all the mistakes and all the abuse. Uh, they promised me that they had gone to therapy, um, that they had been to two different psychologists, that they 100%, I mean, these are really the sentences that were used, you know, I 100% understand what I have done to you. It was terrible. It was a mistake. I will never allow myself to do that again, you know, and when you're hearing this and you have broken up with someone and uh, then and of course you're never 100 percent certain that you took the right decision when you break up with someone or at least i was not at the time and you hear these kind of promises you think wow maybe i'm really missing out and this person actually did the tough work to um to to work on themselves and now fully understands uh, what happened and now that i um think back i think you know i was an idiot i mean how the hell did i think that after three months a person could actually uh, counter this psychological disorder when it takes 
years uh, to to fix uh, to counter something like this uh, especially something that is so uh, pervasive in your life and the way that you relate to people such as bpd and mpd so i was really naive i would say um and then we got back together you know and things were to be honest slightly better to s on some parameters but really like i mean if we had 100 problems two were fixed out of 100 compared to when we were together um but you know i mean uh, and uh, we had a honeymoon phase of about uh, two weeks i mean two weeks i mean imagine not even a, a month two weeks and then it went back to scratch so i remember her <laughs> I remember already after two weeks, uh, several times I packed my bags and I, I left uh, the, the house where we were living, you know, so uh, it went already back to how it, uh, how it used to be. Um, but uh, on one side, I was, uh, uh, and sorry, uh, just to elaborate a little bit more, what also uh, was quite confusing is that I shared with this person uh, after our first break, uh, our first break breakup, I shared uh, some uh, key words about uh, narcissism, uh, borderline. Uh, I remember sending her uh, a message or an email saying, you know, you should, I think you should really look up these uh, terms because they really describe how you behave towards me. So I sent her terms about, you know, uh, splitting, uh, a lack of object constancy, uh borderline narcissism etc you know so i also thought wow uh, maybe actually this person did the effort to research some of these concepts because i had sent her i had guided her towards uh, what i believed she had but you know what now i know she barely probably looked at these things because every time she would uh, attempt to uh, read about borderline or narcissism she would feel triggered and she would uh, run away from the issue basically so in some, at least in my experience, there was no change. Uh, it was a, a barrage of empty uh, promises, and uh, um, which I believe were really manipulative because, you know, when someone is in doubt and she knew that I had feelings towards her and someone comes to you and says these kind of things like, I promise you, I did the work, blah, 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 you know, and then you it, it puts the little seed in your head uh, and you start doubting yourself. So that's why I think it's uh, important to go no contact once you have decided. Also because then you avoid giving them the opportunity to hoover you. So they have a saying, you know, that uh, wise people learn from other people's mistakes. Um, so, you know, uh, if you are wise, you will understand that uh, no, you should not uh, get back together with your borderline or with your uh, narcissist. But I also am a believer that, you know, uh, sometimes we need to learn by our own mistakes. So if I look back, yeah, I suffered a lot um, in those uh, months when we got back together, which were about six months. Um, but now I have the absolute, I mean, the absolute 100% certainty that this person is an abuser. Nothing is ever going to change. You know, maybe in 20 years, uh, if she has uh, hit the rock bottom and uh, has done an in-depth work on herself and has matured maybe 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 i will consider uh, uh i consider something but it is so far uh, it's i mean it's, it's not even something that i'm 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 considering at all so now i'm 100 percent certain that you know there's uh, no more chances between these two people and even if uh, uh, she uh, were by miracle to have some kind of brain transplant and be fixed the amount of abuse that I have endured and the amount of uh, lack of breaking of boundaries and trust, it will not, uh, I will not be able to, to love this person, you know, and I'm, a, and I'm an empath, but I feel revengeful towards this person. Um, and uh, so, so it's um, in to, to kind of sum up and wrap up this, uh, this question of whether you should get back together with a borderline or, or a narcissist, the, the experience that i have and hundreds and thousands of people and you know you might want to ask on a forum and you will I'm, i can assure you uh, that most people or everyone will answer no you should not do it no this happened to me no uh, i broke up she because she cheated she cheated again or he cheated uh, these are the kind of things that you're going to get you know so as i said if you're a wise man or woman you will learn by other people's mistakes but if you really are not uh, are not wise and you want to learn by yourself, you know, go for it. You know, try again and you will see. And maybe that's what uh, people need. You know, you need to see that actually they haven't changed and they won't change. So then you can kind of, uh, you have more rationale to understand that this is a relationship that is never going to, 
it's never going to change uh, but you can spare yourself a lot of pain by uh, accepting that it's uh, it's not going to change and really it's not uh, to change uh, to fix a personality disorder requires a massive effort it requires hitting rock bottom and to be honest by staying with these people you also avoid them from hitting rock bottom because one of the biggest fears that they have is the fear of abandonment you know and that is uh, if you are together with them they might uh, know that it's not working and they might know that they're hurting you and they're hurting themselves but they don't care because they want what's the biggest fear that they want to avoid is being alone and if you're with them that you won't incentivize them from going into therapy you know so it's actually almost better that you break up with them you make them hit rock bottom and then they find the motivation to to go get fixed um so I hope that uh, uh, gives uh, some advice and, you know, if you have uh, your own experiences, please feel free to share. Thank you.